In this video, we'll show you how to replace a faulted hard drive in your EX3000 system. Before you begin, make sure that you have read all safety precautions on handling replaceable units, such as using electrostatic discharge wristbands or gloves. For more information, refer to the ECS hard drive replacement crew doc available on dell.com forward slash support. Now, let's identify the component you want to replace. To do this, first log into the ECS UI and click Manage. Under Maintenance, click the node that contains a faulted hard drive. On the maintenance page for the appliance, click the faulted node to drill down and get the details on the hard drive status. Once the recovery is fully complete on the disk, the disk status turns blue and Replace becomes available. Click Replace. Now that the system is ready to replace the component, slide the chassis out of the rack. Ensure that the power supply cables are seated properly before sliding out the chassis. Loosen the two blue retaining screws on either side of the chassis to free it from the rack. Then gently slide the chassis away from the rack until you can access the top cover. Next, remove the system cover. Be careful, as installing or removing the system cover when the system is powered on may expose you to a risk of electric shock. Also, do not operate the system without the cover for longer than five minutes. To remove the system cover, loosen the screws from the system cover. There are two release latches on either side for the front or back system cover, respectively. Hold the cover on each side while disengaging the latches to flip up the cover and gain access to the drives. The faulted drive can be identified by a solid amber LED. Make sure that you verify the disk slot location and serial number based on the disk information provided in the ECS UI maintenance pane. Also, make a note of the disk slot location and serial number and keep this note handy. You'll need to verify these details later. Press the release button to open the drive carrier release handle. Slide the hard drive carrier out until it's free of the hard drive slot. Remove the screws from the slide rails on the hard drive carrier. Then lift the hard drive out of the hard drive carrier. Go to the ECS UI and click Manage. Under Maintenance, select the node and hard drive that you've just removed and verify that the disk serial number matches the number reported for the disk drive being replaced. If the disk serial number does not match, immediately reinsert the disk into its original slot. With the faulted drive out of the carrier, it's time to install the replacement hard drive. Insert the drive with the connector end of the drive towards the back of the carrier. Next, align the screw holes on the drive with the screw holes on the drive carrier and replace the screws to secure the drive. When aligned correctly, the back of the hard drive is flush with the back of the hard drive carrier. Make sure that you do not force or drop the hard drive into the slot and backplane connectors. The backplane can be permanently damaged. Close the hard drive carrier latch to lock the hard drive in place. The node and the disk identification LEDs automatically turn off. Also, do not physically remove and replace the next disk unless the corresponding disk status in the ECS UI shows replace disk. If there are any additional faulted hard drives showing is ready to replace in the ECS UI maintenance pane, perform the replacement of the next drive on this node. You're done replacing the faulted hard drive. Now, install the system cover. Align the slots of the system cover with the tabs on the chassis. Install the screw to secure the system cover. Then, slide the chassis gently back into the rack and tighten the two blue retaining screws on either side of the chassis to secure it to the rack. Finally, we need to verify the replacement. Go to the ECS UI and click Manage. Under Maintenance, click the node that contains a hard disk that you just replaced. The disk status should be initializing and eventually turn to healthy. The initializing process may take 10 to 15 minutes depending on the disk size and system load. You can proceed with the next disk replacement while the previous disk is still initializing, and then ensure that you check the previous drives afterward. You've just replaced the faulted hard drive. For detailed instructions on replacing this or other components, refer to the ECS documentation at dell.com forward slash support. 